welcome to your daily gaming update for Friday, May 19th, 2023. I am your host, Joe. Sources for these updates are in the description. For our first update, it is official. The NVIDIA RTX 4060 Ti 8 GB VRAM version is releasing May 24th for $399 and as predicted as well on our former Last Week in Gaming episodes and daily gaming updates for the channel, the RTX 4060 non-TI releases this July. It is confirmed also that NVIDIA will release a 16 GB VRAM version of the 4060 Ti in July additionally. The 3060 Ti launched at 399 in 2020, just as the 4060 Ti 8 GB VRAM version will as well May 24th. The difference? 17% higher gaming performance with the 4060 Ti compared to the 3060 Ti. Overall, games can experience up to a 70% performance boost with the 4060 cards. The 160 watt RTX 4060, which is the one with 8 GB VRAM, will have a lower total graphics power, or TGP, than the RTX 3060 Ti and the RTX 2060 Super. The 4060 Ti with 16 GB VRAM follows suit as well in having lower TGP than those two cards. Importantly, the 16 GB VRAM 4060 Ti compared to the 8 GB VRAM version does not have a tangible increase in performance as a benefit. This is according to NVIDIA's own performance benchmarks. The 4060 Ti 8 GB VRAM and 16 GB VRAM cards will release at 399 and 499 respectively. The 4060 non-TI will release a 299 version, whereas the 3060 non-TI released at 329. It is worth noting that despite the performance benefit, the 3060 Ti for the same price has a higher memory bandwidth than the 4060 Ti versions. This attribute applies as well when comparing the 3060 non-TI to the 4060 non-TI. The 3060 non-TI has a higher memory bandwidth. For our second update, Ben Studio revealed on Twitter that it is celebrating its 30th anniversary and indicated that it is excited to show fans what comes next. Gamers infer this to mean that the studio is working on a new game that hopefully will have a reveal at the upcoming PlayStation Showcase, May 24th, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ben Studio developed the PlayStation 4 exclusive Days Gone, and a sequel to the game was disregarded prior approximately January 2022. A new Uncharted game was also disregarded circa approximately a month later the same year. This alleged new game is anticipated as different and non-corresponding to those two titles. For our third update, the Callisto Protocol tweeted that a Riot mode is releasing for the game May 23rd. The tweet included a short trailer of the mode itself. The trailer showed different variants of biophages crawling towards what will be the player. Players can expect a brutal, bloody mode, alike to the game itself, where players progress through waves of biophages. This mode may remind players of a mode alike to a horde mode, such as from Gears of War, though there will be, of course, differences. For our fourth update, This Week at Bungie released as an update for Destiny players. The menu on this article includes the look at three new strand aspects and other features to the upcoming Season 21 Season of the Deep. On Episode 6 of Last Week in Gaming, the new strand aspects were covered in its Season of the Deep update segment, so do check back to that episode for more details on these new strand aspects. However, the article does have videos included on these new strand aspects, demonstrating their individual attributes and function. The article details updates to how enemy shields will look and a new Twitch bounty emblem. The present day shield system in Destiny has been in service since 2017. That system has the feature where the player knows the elemental counter for the shield based on the color of that shield. The updated shield system will include more visual artifacts with each shield type. This way players can observe an indication to which elemental weapon types are optimal for using against enemy shields. For our fifth update, mobile tech company FX Technology is offering a new display for the Steam Deck, and this display is an upgrade from the original Steam Deck display. 
Updates include a 1920 by 1200 resolution compared to 1280 by 800 resolution and a 95% sRGB coverage compared to 67%. The screen does support 60 hertz, 400 nit screen brightness, and anti-glare coating, which the original screen on the Steam Deck does have already. The upgrade for those interested in joining the waitlist is for resolution and the color spectrum. The Deck HD display is the same size and technology as the original, a 7-inch IPS panel display. The assembly, though, is not as approachable as installing a new hard drive. Importantly, at least that is speculated. The new display is speculated to involve completely disassembling the Steam Deck, requiring reassembly after installation of the new screen. Also, for those comfortable with the present frame rates and performance of games, to what extent would there be a decrease in frame rate and performance with the Steam Deck's graphics processor component trying to meet the upgraded resolution of the upgraded display? Steam Deck owners have other options for creating a more vivid experience with what is rendered on the screen, such as with the Vibrant Deck plugin. There are recommendations even for reaching higher frame rates with games by decreasing the resolution instead compared to what the Steam Deck can render already. The Deck HD is cornering a niche for Deck enthusiasts that want their handheld to keep up with the competition against other handhelds that support higher resolutions on screen like the ROG Alley, one version to release June 2023, and the Logitech G Cloud handheld having released in 2022. For our sixth update, a product listing on Amazon Italy detailed what cameo characters would be included in the first DLC of Mortal Kombat 1. The description reads, based on a screen capture, that the combat pack includes six playable characters, Quan Chi, Omni-Man, Ermac, Peacemaker, Taika, and Homelander. Cameo characters are listed as Tremor, Johnny Cage, Chameleon, Movado, and Farah. As covered in the channel's daily gaming updates from May 18th, the DLC will include the skin of Jean-Claude Van Damme, and this is detailed as well in the listing. For our seventh update, details surface on Ashfall, an upcoming Fallout-inspired open-world MMORPG. This game is in development by Legendary Star Studios and will be published by NetEase. The trailer that has released for the game shows a Fallout atmosphere at its beginning and captivating shooter mechanics throughout it. The game will support multiplayer, co-op, or single-player alike to Fallout 76. The release window is scheduled for Q3 2023, and a beta is planned for this upcoming July. The official Ashfall website allows for those interested to sign up for the beta. The trailer mentions the game releasing on PC and mobile platforms. Well, that's it for this daily gaming update. You can look forward to a daily gaming update for Monday, May 22nd. Never miss a daily gaming update by subscribing to the channel on YouTube or selecting the follow button on your podcast service of choice. Let me leave you now with the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. I should go.